Today I want to create a manifestation jar. It can be used for whatever intention you like because everybody really wants to manifest. I've noticed a lot of people are not comfortable asking for what they want. They feel like they have to bargain for it. They feel like, well, if you would just give me this, I'll do this. And they don't realize that for a manifestation, all you need to do is ask and then open yourself up to receive. So when you create a manifestation jar, it's going to be customized to who it is for, but there are going to be some certain base ingredients that we use for all types of manifestation. The earth, it's the most grounded, so that's gonna be on the bottom. Then we're gonna add you know, some oils, that's gonna be the water, then we go up a little bit more, then I'm gonna just start you know, moving it over some candle flame and getting that all warmth and everything, and then at the end, the sage, It's all about creating a magnet. You're trying to attract. So everything that you're gonna use, it's gonna smell good, it's gonna look beautiful because it's attractive. When you're picking herbs, it's gonna be the sweeter smelling herbs. The crystals are gonna really have that glittery tone to them. They're gonna look like that prosperity that you wanna pull in. Each creation is different as each person is different and each intention is different. It's not just about success or money. It's about whatever you want to expand in your life. I'm actually going to do all of the elements in reverse order. So typically, when we work with elements, we like to start from the east because that follows the course of the day. So we'll go where the sun rises in the east, and then it sets in the west, and then the completion is going to be the north. So we'll go in this one direction. Well, when you're doing a jar, you've got to go from the ground up. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start with getting all of the herbs in order that we want to put into this jar. So let's see. Three different choices here that are going to go into this particular jar. I did a blend for money and success because this is going to be to benefit a business. And of course, I threw peppermint in there for drawing things in. Because of who I'm making it for, I'm gonna add bee pollen in. This is for the queen bee. If you look at this, green, gold, and then a mixture of the two. Gold is really about bringing in money and keeping it. Green is about bringing in luck. I think a lot of people think green is money. And actually, you wanna lean a little bit more on the gold when it comes to manifesting money and success. And that's gonna take you about halfway into the jar. So now three stones. We're gonna do a penny that has the year of the recipient's birth on it because that's gonna make it even more personal. It's just that little extra spark. I like pennies because pentacles, earth element. Okay, so all of this is earth element. The next step is going to be to start bringing in the water element so we start anointing the crystals with the best possible oil for this jar. Crown of Success Oil, one of my favorites, it smells great. So I always do this whenever I'm making something with Crown of Success, it's just, hey, why not? So, and there we go. And then just a little bit more going down into that mix. Now time to make another mess, but that's always the best part. Mix it up, a little bit of oil on that penny as well. Penny first, one, two, three. And then a little bit more oil. One, two, three. And I'm still gonna add a little teeny bit of this moon water. So this is actually snow water. I believe it was in January, and that's the time when things slow down a little bit for me. And I always feel like I'm at my most creative at that time because I can focus more. So I said, you know what? This is good creativity water. This is gonna draw not just monetary success. This is gonna draw the success of creativity, the success of collaboration into this little jar. 
one, two, three. A little bit more. It's always good. Okay. So now I have the two most feminine elements, earth and water. And now we're going to move into the masculine elements, which is going to be fire and air. So for fire, okay, because again, we're working backwards. Before I even light this candle, I'm going to set the intention in the candle by carving it directly in there and also throwing a little bit of this crown of success oil while we're at it. One, two, three, clockwise to manifest. Now I put manifestation and then I'm also going to put the name of the recipient for the jar. You get really good at writing upside down when you do these things. It's another nice skill to have. Freaks people out a little bit. Also a nice thing to do every once in a while. We should never get too relaxed, you know. Now we light that. There we go. And then I'm just gonna try to transfer that fire energy into this jar. Sometimes I even like to burn a little teeny bit, drop it in. Now once we have that, we're gonna take the air element and light it off of fire. Adding your air to the element itself. And I like to always use a feather that is another aspect of the air element. So, as you can see, almost all the way full, kind of ready to go, but we want to make this very specific. And this is where I get to have the fun because parchment paper, a wonderful, wonderful thing. Looks real witchy. Writing the intention. There we go. Rolling that up, adding a little bit more fire to it. Two, three. Okay, I'm dropping that in there and then activating it, taking a deep breath and speaking right into this jar, programming it for what you want it to do. One last kick of fire. So this should smell pretty darn good. Almost. A little bit of cinnamon. I'm going to blow it directly into this jar. And that's what I was waiting for. We're done. <laughs>